Hello guys, welcome back. Another useful and important video, especially for those that are students, graduates, I mean, they literally completed their degree and looking for a graduate at a fresh start here in the UK. I'm going to share the graduate roles opportunities that exist within the UK and currently the applications are open. I'm going to share the step-by-step -step process of how you can apply for those opportunities doesn't matter what engineering sector you are in i'm sure that there is a something for everyone make sure you watch till the end so before i jump into the presentation section which will cover the job description how to apply what are the different disciplines what are the requirements before i get into that details make sure you subscribe to the channel to ensure you receive regular such videos in the future so let's crack on with the presentation welcome to the presentation uh, just to make everyone's last easy i will start with a google and i will search for acom graduate scheme and the top one that's uk and ireland graduate careers aecom click on that and it will take me to the main page here i'm not going to go through how big and how good aecom is you can uh, read yourself here rank number two in the engineering news records uh, but the main page I'm concerned with is apply now. So I'll click on that one. So we are on the graduate opportunity you can Ireland 2021-22 page. So this is the main page where you can apply and see all the opportunity that exists within AECOM for graduates. Again, I'm not going to read the whole lot here, the job summary here. But the main point I need to highlight is... a they are recruiting uh, in the UK and Ireland into different disciplines here and you can see transportation engineering planning building quantity surveying project management building surveying consultancy geotechnical tunnel engineering water engineering and consulting environmental consulting planning and design power engineering architecture and landscape architecture and more can be found below so they are divided, subdivided into the business unit here as well which we're going to go through in a minute but before that you can see the AECOM exists in 30 cities and towns in the UK so pretty much they exist throughout the UK so wherever you are going to reside or you're going to study within the UK I'm sure you're going to find the local office there as well so you can check out all these cities and towns where acom offices are in terms of yeah the uh, different disciplines and the business units so in in terms of transportation engineering planning they have different business units that's where they need the graduates uh, so like i mean if you're interested in aviation engineering so you can click on that bridge engineering civil infrastructure rail rail electrical so it doesn't matter yeah, what a category you are in. You can just go specific to your category, uh, like a yeah, survey and project management, building engineering, water, geotechnical, environmental. So there's lots of opportunity for everyone within the department. I'm not going to I'm going to come back to these ones and we're going to click one of them to see what the JD, the job description are, what the specific requirements are. But before that, let me scroll down and just to see what are the minimum requirements, who is eligible to apply for these jobs. So it clearly says their criteria where is a cross practice line so please consult the relevant job descriptions which is basically when you click on these ones and that will take you to the job descriptions for detail requirements so all graduate roles require a minimum of 2-2 classification or equivalent that's it's 50 percent or above max in a relevant degree and less than two years post graduate relevant experience so it is for fresher as you can see they're clearly stated if you have to two years experience so you can apply for these ones further it does say if you have more than two years of experience please apply to our experienced of high position aid at this link i'm not going to go through that link obviously if you're experienced make sure you check out this link as well i will concentrate on the graduate route only so the graduate roles only so as i said i mean all these are uh, if you click on any of these uh, uh business unit that will take you to jd so for instance I will share the rail civils uh, so if I click on that one uh, that will take me to the job description and it clearly states the requirements uh, the responsibility the summary requirements training what they're going to provide you as, as a part of the development program so 
in terms of uh, job responsibility what you will actually do in day-to-day -day business in day-to-day -day life as, as a graduate civil engineer in the real industry this is the uh, this is the responsibility you will deal with uh, but the main point and the main section is here the requirements this is the eligibility criteria what you need to fulfill and i'm sure if you are uh, studying civil engineering you must have the all these qualities there so it's pretty much yeah anyone can apply for these jobs i mean if you look at these requirements like bng in civil engineering 2 2 i'm sure Anyone that's studying, yeah, uh, BNG or MNG, uh, they must obviously is even if you have to pass the degree, you have to 50% more uh, sort of yeah max there, so you are eligible in that criteria there. Modules in rail would be advantage. So as I click on the GAD for civil uh, rail engineer, so obviously they prefer yeah someone who have studied the rail modules. Uh, but it doesn't explicitly say it, uh, like uh, th th that's, that is a requirement. It said would be at an advantage. So even if you haven't studied the modules, the rare modules, still you are eligible to apply. But obviously, if, if there are there are two candidates, one have the modules, the rare module studied and the other haven't had. So the, he will get the, uh, the the one with the rare modules. He will get priority and because he will get the advantage. This is more relevant to railway. But otherwise, it doesn't restrict you not to apply for these ones. The other requirements are enthusiastic, hardworking, technical profession uh, with ambition and drive. Uh, good Microsoft skills, essentially, such as Word, Excel and PowerPoint. Ability to communicate effectively to internal and external clients. Uh, ability to structure and prioritize work effectively through close cooperation with the team as a whole. Ability to work in a team and independently without losing initiative and focus. As you can clearly see, there's no requirement about the experience. So this is for fresher. Uh, if you are fresh or even if you are studying now, you should go and apply for these jobs because they are specifically targeted for yourself as a student without sort of experience. So uh, I would say, I mean, if you literally completed or you're still studying, this is the right opportunity for yourself to go for it. So do let me know in the comment section below if you stuck anywhere during the application process, I may be able to help. With that note, thank you very much for your time and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.